Hello, my name is Ben Brownlee from Curious Turtle, and I'm going to be showing you some of the things that we can do with BCC Stage Light. So the BCC Stage Light filter is a way of generating up volumetric lighting, such as the lights you would see on a stage, and we could also use this with the built-in smoke generators, camera effects, and beat reactor. So let's take a quick look at what we can do. Now with any of these type of filters, a great place to start is always with the presets. The presets give us a good idea of just what this filter is capable of. So we can have some smoky stage lighting, we can have multiple colored lights, or we also have constant radius lights that give us the, this hard spotlight kind of look, which if I add a Minimax and a BCC Gaussian Blur with the Boost Expo Apply Mode just to give us a bit of blur, we can get a quite interesting animated background effect. Now the BCC Stage Light has three built-in light sources, but if you're working with Adobe After Effects, you can use the built-in After Effects lights and camera to drive the BCC Stage Light effect. We have a range of options about how we render this light out, whether we're getting a strong volumetric effect, linear one, weak, or just a natural one. We can change the type of light from spotlight, which has a cone angle, cone feather, and direction, to a point light, where the light shines in 360 degrees all around our point. So this is the equivalent of having a bare light bulb hanging in your room. If we're working with a spotlight, we also have a point of interest where we can aim our spotlight to. Each of our different lights can also be colored, and these colors will add together and react naturally as if they were realistic light sources. The BCC stage light has a built-in camera where we can easily create animations of orbiting or regular free camera move directly within the filter. If you're working with After Effects, we can also use the comp camera so that we can have a shared move between different elements. Additionally, the BCC stage light filter has a built-in beat reactor which works in exactly the same way as the standalone BCC Beat Reactor effect, where we can choose a music layer, choose a specific frequency range, and apply that to one of our stage light parameters. And by using multiple instances of the stage light effect, we can create flashing lights based off of different frequency ranges. And as well as being able to control the smokiness of our atmosphere, these are just a few of the things that we can do with the BCC stage light effect. Thanks for watching and be sure to click on the link in the description to download a free trial of Continuum for Adobe and check it out for yourself. Also, follow Boris FX on YouTube, Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with the latest information and training materials on Continuum, Sapphire, Mocha Pro and all the Boris FX products.